Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel after good old 8.2 took away most of my revive stash I'd saved up heavily for. These Sunday specials with the level 3 revives are as clutch for those as anything else. I'm down to almost zero of those. And level 3 revives for all content, but especially new content, are so clutch. The 60% health back is, um, well, it's what I find to be pretty comforting, particularly because I find a lot of times I also have more revives than potions because, of course, potions aren't percentage-based like revives are. So it's much easier to run out of those than it is to revive. Luckily, I didn't have to jump into four-hour uh, stash, though, for 8.2. So the four-hour stash is continuing to be built up for, I guess, um, 8.3. Or maybe Paragon Threat Level 5 Generic 6-Star Awakening Gem Guaranteed Side Quest Difficulty in May as uh, another option. That could be it. But uh, as always, the 6-Star Shards in the Revives are really what matter most to me besides everything else. Uh, th and then it just becomes a bonus, really. Some of you really need ISO, so that is also important and amazing. And yeah, even the Cav Nexus are pretty amazing value with the Cavalier Daily Special on Sunday's 1,006 star shards. Uh, I wish the Tier 5 class Catalyst Fragment Selector was bigger. The fully formed Tier 2 Alpha is the best guaranteed part of that. Uh, really, if you're going to give a fully formed Tier 2 Alpha, you should probably give half of a tier 5 basic, which they almost do in 18,000 fragments, but come on. Give give another 4,500 for Cavalier players. Okay, so I am uh, also making my way through 100% exploration of all event quests just to get a few more units. That is my typical strategy. And here we go. We have two Cav Nexus Crystals. I opened not one, not two, but three five-star Nexus with my brother Cody from these uh, on Saturday. So, who knows? Last time on a Sunday, I think I got six-star thighs from one of these, which was better than my luck on the Mythic Nexus Crystals. So you never know, but this is uh, generally what you get. All three and four stars, or in this case, it's a four-star nexus disguised as a cavalier nexus. And given that I'll probably be taking a mutant up to rank four, we're going to do that. And then because of that, we're going to pop the last one. And that was terrible. So thank God for the revive. Thank God for the six star shards because we have ourselves not much else. Now, of course, we're guaranteed at least two five stars from the mythic nexus, but we're hoping to go at least one for two for six stars. I am now hunting Shuri. So maybe, just maybe we will get Shuri. I did get in a max sig crystal last night, another six star Immortal Iron Fist, I wish he was so much better. He's not the worst player in the game, don't get me wrong, or the worst champ in the game, but, but could be better. All right, um, shout out to Mama Bear, who got six-star Ritra from one of these today. Let's see if I can get a six-star. It's been a while since I've opened these, and that is a terrible start, but one that is not surprising. You always want to get a six-star on the first one to just kind of get the curse out of the way. Uh, shout out to Matthew Robertson, very busy guy, can't really be at my streams much anymore, but he's... Favorite is Michael Keaton, and so we're just going to go with Vulture in honor of him. And when you don't get a six-star on the first one, that means you should pop the last one. At least that's what I think. So we're going to team pop this last one. Uh, four, three, two, one, pop. And hello, Hercules and Wolverine is five stars. Which, I mean, if these they were six stars, especially, right? That's, that's a really cool five-star, but six-star Omega Cheeks. This is like the second time this week I've had her pop up in a Nexus. And that means that she's 
grown 40 SIGs this week. And as somebody who loves Omega Sentinel, that is fantastic. Um, the very last champion and the very last crystal with a little bit of a taste of that CEO luck we all love so much. And then, of course, that also means seven star shards. So I didn't go two for two like our beloved Mama Bear, but I will take that any day. And love those purple seven star shards as well. That also means that we're going to get to pop this. And what do you know? All right, YouTube. Well, I thought I was going to be not like, you know, I'm a bit a little disappointed, not angry because it's, it's 10 bucks. But now, oh, it feels great. Uh, as always, it's the best value for your week. The $10, it's not going to be better than the Platinum track this month because that's the greatest thing we've ever seen. But uh, still, on a weekly basis, can't go wrong. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.